guys, this is Nicholas Butler, and welcome back to the third episode of my new podcast, Nicholas Butler on Indigenous Topics. Today we'll be talking about stereotypes again. And have you ever felt stereotyped? If so, what happened and how did it make you feel? Let's get right into my response. I have lived in Ottawa my entire life. I also live in Ottawa that uh, is in an area of Ottawa that some people may consider a more affluent part of Ottawa. All of my friends also live in the same neighborhood. Seeing that my friends are, that me and my friends are all from the same neighborhood, we all attended the same elementary school. All the kids who atten attended the school generally lived in the nicer part of Ottawa. As well as a result, I grew up thinking that all children lived in the same manner. They lived in large, comfortable homes with a garden and all went to amazing school with a quality education system and significant parental involvement. I did not realize that people lived in smaller homes since all my friends lived the same way I did. Once I arrived at St. Joe's in grade 7, I met some new people and we became friends. As we got to know each other, one of my friends asked me where I lived and I responded with Stonebridge. My new friend replied with, that is where all the rich kids lived. I was shocked. When I got home that day, I asked my parents about some of the other areas in Ottawa that went to St. Joe's. And they said that not everyone was as fortunate as we are and may, may not live in some areas as fancy as Stonebridge. When I got to school the next day, my friend came up to me and said something snarky. Hey Nick, since you live in Stonebridge, you will never have to work for anything in this world. They all assumed that I did not have to work hard at school and sports to do well, since I lived in a nicer area of the city. Even though they thought I was not always the best person on my sports team, they did not see how much effort I had to put in to my sports to improve my skills. They also thought my grades were basically handed to me because my parents could afford the best tutors and supplies for me to succeed. This also is inaccurate because, as I still worked hard in elementary school to get my grades to an acceptable standard. During this prompt, some of my new friends made assumptions that my grades in sports were handed to me because of where me and my family grew up. This was really not the case. I still had to work hard to get to where I am today. This stereotype affected me because it made me doubt myself. I started to think that maybe I did not really work hard, and that was not fair. I did really work hard, and no one should ever feel that way, and they should never doubt their hard work. This is why stereotypes can be harmful and incomplete. Thank you for listening to the third episode of my podcast, and I'll be uploading the fourth episode really soon. Thank you, and have a great day.